Today we're going to talk a little bit about Ezra Jack Keats. Ezra Jack Keats is the illustrator who won a Caldecott Award in 1963 for the book The Snowy Day. Uh, perhaps you've seen it. It's rather remarkable in that it was the first full-color illustrated book to win the Caldecott that featured an African-American child as the protagonist. I don't have many things to show you from the snowy day because all of our collection is on exhibit. It's traveling around the United States. The Jewish Museum of New York City put together a traveling exhibit using much of the de Grumman collection, and it is currently in San Francisco. But I wanted to show you other pieces that are uh, samples of Ezra Jack Keats' work. First of all, he won the Caldecott Honor for a book titled Goggles. As many children's authors and illustrators do in picture books, they will create a dummy. And it will actually be about the size of this picture right here. And this is the dummy for pages three and four. And you see that it's uh, rather crude, but it gives Keats an idea of what he wants to do and how he wants it to look. Then I'll show you how the picture turned out actually in the book. I think the colors are very rich. These, uh, pages just come to life. Ezra Jack Keats loved Brooklyn, loved New York. Uh, he used the whole city. The background of his paintings often um, were in the city and you can see that he was very careful to put uh, graffiti all over the place where graffiti would appear in the city. And so he's got these two boys talking and he's got Willie the dog. And Keats also used collage a good bit. He would use oil, he would use watercolor, he would use mixed media, of course. But here you'll see that he's got newspaper crumpled up and it's put on this fence to look like parts of graffiti. And you'll see that clothes are hanging outside of this apartment building. It's actually an accurate depiction of some neighborhoods that he knew and frequented in New York. I wanna show you another picture from the book Goggles. This is a page that it comes a little bit later. Uh, and you see here, again, the graffiti on the door. Maybe it shows up a little bit better. And this boy's shirt is wallpaper. Keats would use wallpaper. He would use cards from Christmas cards or greeting cards. He would use uh, cloth to make clothes. He was very creative, and what he saw in the world he used. He was a, a remarkable artist. And one thing I want to say about this, I think Goggles is rich with color. It's deeply um, rich with the browns and the reds, and no wonder it was recognized for a Caldecott honor. Um, it's totally different from a snowy day, even though it features Peter, who was featured in Snowy Day the African-American protagonist I mentioned earlier. One thing, too, that's very interesting is that Keats grew up in a home in which he felt uh, a keen sense of disapproval. His parents were not really encouraging of his art, and he was passionate, of course, about art. His father was very concerned because he wanted his son to be able to make a living. Um, I'm going to show you the picture that Keats did of his parents when he was still at home with them. So I don't know if he did this in high school or later. Let me get it where you can see it. But this is not a very flattering picture of his parents, as you can see. 
They were Polish. They moved here from Poland, directly from Poland. So Keats was uh, the child of immigrants and it was a very difficult childhood. They were not wealthy in the least and he too um, felt the um, lack of support that financial status brought him would bring his family. But I, I want to point out something else about that picture. Now keep in mind he was quite young and if you'll look you'll see how he captured everything. Again, I'm going to tell you, it's not flattering. It's not a flattering picture of his mother. I would hate to have my child have a picture of me in a dress like this, or the father, of course, with, I guess it's a beer gut. I don't know. But it is not a very flattering picture, so of course they were quite disapproving. However, Ezra Jack Keats won an award when he was in high school. He won an overall competition in New York City for this particular painting. It's called The Sweet Potato Vendor. And again, he used the backdrop of New York City in his work. It, it constantly appears, New York constantly appears almost as a character in his work. The last thing I want to show you is this particular book. This is from Maggie and the Pirate. I love these paintings. They're light and airy and watercolor. Uh, Keats used many mediums. He was a multi-talented artist. He was very painterly. Um, and uh, he used, as I mentioned, collage. And we, we notice in his books and in his work that he continued to grow. This is from the book Maggie and the Pirate, and you'll notice that there's a little hat right here on this boy. And that is newspaper that he folded up and put in the picture. And of course, it appears in the book in that way. There's much to learn about Ezra Jack Keats. Um, he was a man who lived to do art. It was his life's passion, and he continued to do it throughout his life. And you can learn more about him here at the DeGrumman Children's Literature Collection.